The 1945 production of Aida, with its famous sets by Josep Mestres Cabanes, has a special place in the history of the Gran Teatre del Liceo. By the time of its first production, the theatre had already stood for more than a hundred years on one of Barcelona's great avenues, La Rambla, near the shores of the Mediterranean. Its sumptuous building was designed to rival the great opera houses of the day, and today the 150 years of history which have passed since then have made it a landmark on the international scene. The importance of the Liceo to the people of Barcelona has been tested in two moments of devastating crisis. The first came in 1861, when the auditorium and stage burnt down. The theatre was swiftly rebuilt, but on January the 31st, 1994, another fire broke out, reducing the Opera House to little more than a shell. The gala concert held within the burnt-out walls launched the restoration and expansion of the Liceo, which was rebuilt in all its splendour and equipped with modern technology. But two of the theatre's greatest legacies were not destroyed by fire. The first was the cult of the great voice. The second legacy was a passion for set design. The Catalan School of Scenography initially had links with its French counterpart. Its members include several illustrious stage designers who enjoy pride of place in the theatre's history. <laughs> Josep Mestres Cabanes was a disciple of Salvador Alama and the last representative of the Catalan School of Scenography which was active for almost a century. The artistic language characteristic of the Catalan school sought to reproduce an idealized form of reality and represent it in scenic space. It achieved this not with real objects, but by means of illusion. In other words, its members used painting to create illusory or fictitious distances, volumes, and lights, thanks to their technical mastery of the laws of perspective and trompe l'oeil and their powerful inspiration. Josep Mestres Cabanes left us another legacy, the important and definitive treatise on perspective in which he set out his ideas. Los decorados de Mestres Cabanes son fantásticos, es una cosa bestial. Yo los había visto con 9 o 10 años, creo que los vi aquí en el liceo, en el año 64 o por ahí, me parece que se hicieron. Y claro, no me es súper emocionante, es una imagen. Por otra parte, además, en Aida, que es una ópera que desde muy pequeño tienes cualquier aficionado la tiene como en el corazón, muy en el fondo, muy metida. Todos tenemos nuestros cromos, ¿no? Pero es difícil, cuando quieres tus cromos y tus pequeñas manías de infancia casi y de, y de instinto, las quieres plasmar no es fácil. Eso es un poco como cuando metes voz a un cómic, ¿no? Eso cuando pones a Asterix o Obelix con voz, siempre que le ponen una voz hay un punto que dice no, no, esta no es la voz que yo he soñado cuando lo he leído. Aquí pasa un poco qué es lo que yo he soñado, los sueños, pero nunca los he llegado a verbalizar. Entonces, cuando, cuando lo pones en pie, cuando la diriges a Ida, un hombre que te gusta tanto y, y el que tienes tan claro los cromos, hay un problema de ser honrado contigo mismo tampoco y no, y no irte por caminos complicados, sino realmente querer conseguir la emoción que tú habías recibido de la obra cuando la escuchabas y cuando la veías en, en su momento. ¿no? Y el decorado de Mestres Cabanes, eso nos ayuda absolutamente. Es un decorado de una inmensa mentira, es una, una locura de, de engaño, 
es papel, todo es papel, sabéis que son ciento y muchas piezas de papel, pintadas maravillosamente, con un dominio del trampa antojo y de la perspectiva impresionante, pero a mí me hace mucha gracia que eso, que sea una enorme mentira, ese hiperrealismo, y por eso con, con Faura, con el iluminador, hemos insistido mucho en, en que se vea el truco, que los cambios y al principio de las escenas veamos la trampa, veamos que eso es un papel arrugado, papel además, imagínate, de los años 50, de la posguerra, casi de bocadillo de, de trabajador catalán, pues ese, 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 ese papel ha sido que se pintó por Mestres Cabanes, de muy mala calidad, que le costaba, nos dijo a su hija, encontrar buen papel, ese papel que es de una imperfección y de una arruga tremenda, por, la, por el genio del artista, el genio del pintor, deviene cuando se ilumina adecuadamente una perspectiva increíble. ¿no? The Liceo decided to honor the work of Mestres Cabanes by restoring the scenery he made for the 1945 production of Aida. It consists of seven sets which recreate Verdi's opera, five interiors depicting palaces and temples, and one exterior showing the banks of the Nile and the gates of Thebes. They remained in use until 1965 and incredibly were one of the few creations of his that were salvaged intact from the 1994 fire. Each set corresponds to one of the seven locations in the plot of Aida and comprises approximately 120 items of paper scenery, some small, some large, and others huge. They're hand-painted and fastened to wooden poles at the rear, which are slotted into wooden frames for stability. They're placed in different areas of the stage, some suspended from the flies and others fixed to the floor. The task of restoring these materials, made in 1945, was undertaken by set designer Jordi Castells, who performed the miracle of smoothing the creases out of paper that had been folded up in boxes for decades, mending the tears, sticking down the edges, recreating the colors and details of the damaged paintwork while preserving the exact shades and thicknesses, and repainting the white dots of light that had come off. The last complex operation in this laborious process took place on the stage itself, where each item was fixed to its rod and reinforced by mounting it on a wooden frame. This restoration pays tribute not only to the work of Mestres Cabanes and the Catalan School of Scenography, but to a passion for set design which has evolved at the Liceo for a century and a half.